Welcome back to Blau Dev, everyone. Today we're going to be going over a continuation of Flutter with Google Mobile Ads. And specifically, we're going to talk about interstitial ads. For those that are unaware of what interstitial ads are, is there are video ads that take the full screen. They'll often have a timer in the top right that will count down, and after a certain number of seconds, the user can exit out of the ad. They're the ads that will generate the most revenue for you, and so it's encouraged that you use them where applicable. Um, we're going to get more into an example on how to implement them in your application and how to set up AdMob as part of that. If you're new to Google AdMob and haven't worked with ads in Flutter before, I recommend you check out part one of this series where we go over setting up banner ads and configuring AdMobs to use ads in your application. So as I just mentioned, we're gonna be doing a continuation of part one of Flutter Google mobile ads. And so check out the video if you wanna pick up where we left off. But basically what I have here is I have an application and I have it set up for Android and for iOS. And if you wanna see you know, how to set up both versions and how to set up the configurations in your Flutter project, see part one. But what I'm most interested in here is what we're gonna do is let me go ahead and zoom out just a little bit here we want to click on add units for our specific instance of ios or android and as you can see here let me blow this back up for you so you can see this better um, we have a banner test unit that we use for our last ad and we can tell that not because just the name but because it has a banner format or an ad format of type banner since this hasn't been published uh, there's nothing active about it and it hasn't generated any income now what we want to do when working with interstitial ads is we want to click add ad unit. In the first video we were working with just banner ads and so we selected the banner. But for this one, as I talked about, we're going to select interstitial. Banner ads are just in line across the entire application typically. And interstitial ads are going to take up your full screen. Um, it's those, and it can be video or non-video. They don't have to be video, just to clarify. Now we're going to click, inter click on interstitial, that's the one we're interested in, and we're going to call it interstitial add, and we're going to click create add unit, and this is the information that we are interested in, is this uh, pub number here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my mobile app, let me blow this up so you can see it a little bit better, and we're going to be working with two files today. Um, we have our main.dart where everything's going on. You can see here we have some logic for banner ad from last time. Um, and then we actually place that banner ad right in the middle of two text widgets. Um, what we're going to be doing today, though, is we're going to be adding an interstitial in here in place of that. Actually, in place of the banner ad, we're going to have a button. When they click on it, it'll display the interstitial ad. Um, okay, so then we're going to go over to ad helper. And what ad helper does is we're going to have a method called um, interstitial add unit ID. And it's going to be the same thing of type, you know, static string. Uh, and it's a getter. And what we're going to do is we're going to do something similar where we check what kind of platform we're working with. And we're returning a different CA number, um, app number, based on what version they're using. Like I mentioned, we're only going to be in this example. I'm only going to be working with iOS just to make this example a lot quicker, but that doesn't mean um, that it's not going to work on Android. It'll work the exact same way. Um, setup's already been done um, for this project. You can see part one if you want to know how to do that. Um, and let's just get going with this. So interstitial add unit ID. Um, if it's Android, for now, I'm just going to not do anything because I don't have that set up, but if it's iOS, I want to add in this number. Okay. Um, let me click done first before doing that. Okay. And another way you can see this is you can see that they just have a simple copy button that we can use. And so let's go ahead and highlight this, paste in that interstitial. Okay. Go back to main. All right, so we've set the first part. We've created our add unit. We've added our method for figuring out what the number is that we're gonna be utilizing. And the next thing to do is to create the um, ad itself. So let's go ahead and take a look at our banner ad implementation. And this will give us a good idea as to how we're gonna set up our interstitial ad as well. 
the biggest thing that we're going to look at here um, is we have an add unit ID and we have a listener. Um, our interstitial add is going to have these two things as well. Um, and this shows you the implementation of how we're going to utilize our add helper class and specifically this value. Um, we're basically going to place it for add unit ID and it's going to check the platform and return the corresponding add unit type based on if it's Android or iOS. So let's go ahead and just right above banner add, we're going to create one called interstitial add. Let's call it interstitial add. And they'll be of type interstitial add. Has an add unit ID. And as we mentioned, we're going to call an add helper interstitial ID. Then the other one we're going to do is we're going to say, well, it looks like we don't have a size here. Um, so let's just not worry about that for the moment. We're going to add our listener and we're going to have an add listener. And that's going to have an on add closed. And we're just going to add some print statements here just to show how it's logging um, these different things when certain things happen. So basically, um, we have these different methods that it listens for. Um, and this can give you some useful information. Let's say you don't want them to navigate to a new screen until the ad has been closed, or you don't want to give them some kind of reward until the ad's been closed or something happens. Um, we can use these listeners to determine when that happens and trigger uh, an event to happen after that. We'll do on add opened. Okay, and similarly to how we did banner add, we do need to add this request value. So we'll just put it right there. Okay, and we've instantiated our interstitial add. And what I'm gonna do actually is I'm going to remove that and then I'm going to place that up here instead. Whoops, so I'm gonna call it interstitial add. And just like with our other ad, we're going to make it private. So only this class can access it. Okay. We haven't used it quite yet. Um, and so we've instantiated it up here when the class is made. Um, the init state will create the ad. It'll check and see what the value is. Um, and then the last thing we need to do um, is have a method. Yep, so we have ad load. Okay, yes. And we want to do interstitial add.load. Okay, so that'll load the ad. And then the last thing we need to do is to show the ad. And so, like I said, we're going to have that button. And then that button is going to call interstitial add.show. So let's go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to go ahead and comment out this. That way, in the code base, you all can still see it and uncomment it and use it if you'd like. But what we're going to put here instead is just a button. And let's call it, an, let's make an outline button. Um, let's give it a child type text, interstitial add. And an on pressed method of type interstitial add dot show. Okay, so let's review very quickly what we've done here. We've, let's go to add mob first. We've added an add unit that we can use called interstitial add. And as of right now, I've only done this for the iOS side. We do the exact same thing for Android, nothing different. Um, and then I created a method called interstitial add unit ID. Um, we can call that, it'll determine what platform we're dealing with and return the corresponding app unit ID. Then in main, we have a value of type interstitial add. We instantialize it with our add unit ID, a request, and listeners. We load it, and then 
when someone clicks a button, we show the ad. Now there's one more thing that we need to do and that's to properly dispose of the ad. So let's go ahead and add that here. So we'll call it interstitial ad dot dispose. Okay, that's done. And let's see here. And the one other thing that I do wanna mention, if you skipped over the first video and you're completely lost on some of this setup, the other thing that's important to include in Flutter is the mobile ads.instance.initialize. You do need to do this just like how we initialize Firebase now, you do need to initialize mobile ads. Um, there's some other setup stuff you need to do, including certain things in the plist file and in your Android Gradle file. You can see part one on Google Flutter mobile ads on how to do that though, if you are still confused. Let's go ahead and give this a run. I'm gonna open up my iOS simulator for this. Okay, let's go ahead and click on our button. You can see here it says open ad. Looks like we have a skims commercial. Um, we can see the timer in the top right. I'm gonna go ahead and click X and exit out of it. And it's that simple. Now keep in mind that uh, it's only gonna load, this is a single instance of an ad. So let's go, let's go over this really quickly. So we've created a single instance of interstitial ad. So it's only equal to that one value. If you wanted to show repeated interstitial ads on the same page, within the same class, um, we would either have to, number one, uh, refresh the state of the app. That way in its state gets hit again and it does all this because when we close it, we are disposing of this ad and it's not gonna work. Um, so I'll click refresh here so you can see what I mean by that. Um, so we click on it, wait for it to go down. Three, two, one, exit. I click again, nothing happens. If we go to the debug console, you see here interstitial ad failed to show because the ad was not ready. Um, so again, you either have to reset the state of the app or we need to have multiple different instances of interstitial ads. So depending on what you wanna do, keep that in mind, that's very important to be aware of. Otherwise you're gonna put in production and it's not gonna work the way you're expecting. Um, but as you can see here, very straightforward, very easy to use. Like most of the things that Flutter and Google do, they make it very easy to work with. If you have confusion or questions on how to work with this or anything else, leave a comment below. I'd love to answer them or potentially do more videos on how to do this. Also reach out in our Discord channel, the BlyleDev Discord channel. You can find it in the comments below. Um, in the, I'll put a link in the description for you to follow that if you have more questions that I can help with. If you found this video useful, make sure you click that like button and subscribe to the channel so that others can find it as well. And I'll catch you guys next time.